Well, the big question on everyone's mind, including Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich, is given his lengthy criminal history, why was Charlie Wallace even free in the first place? KXY4's Annie Bishop is live in the newsroom to try and answer that question. Annie? And Sheriff Knezovich says there is most certainly a disconnect in the judicial system given that Charlie Wallace was so easily released from jail. If convicted, Wallace would have spent life in prison, but for some reason, he was released for rehab while awaiting trial. Wallace's criminal history dates back decades. In fact, in 2002, he was the focus of a KXY story when he escaped from Geiger Corrections Facility. Today, Knezovich held up Wallace's criminal history, including assault, eluding police, and drug possession. Among the convictions, Knezovich says his deputies are constantly arresting repeat offenders, and with each arrest, their crimes escalate, just as we saw yesterday. Knezovich says Wallace stole the weapon used in yesterday's shooting from a car in Liberty Lake last fall. And that's why I really think that the judicial system needs to take a hard look at what they're putting back onto the streets. And Knezovich says keeping repeat offenders locked up has been a top priority of his and has been meeting with prosecutor's office and others in the judicial system over the past few months to address the problem. Bottom line, Knezovich says the solution to keep repeat offenders uh, out in the, in the public is to keep them behind bars. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News. Thanks so much. Spokane Sheriff isn't the only one wondering why Wallace was not behind bars today. Wallace's own mother was asking that same exact question. KXLY4's Anusha Roy spoke to Melissa Wallace today and joins us with her side of the story. Anusha Wallace says her son has been battling drug addiction all his life, huh? And she's saying that that drug problem started as early as eight or nine years old for her son, saying the difference between when he was using and when he wasn't was like day and night. Look at that mountain up there. See that mountain? Mm -hmm. That kid that everybody calls criminal. He used to take a horse he'd ride up straight up the face of that thing. Melissa Wallace says her son was a loving person who always was willing to help the elderly and always checked in on her. But that was when he was clean. We tried therapy. <sighs> and everything else. His mother says Wallace had run-ins with the law since he was a little boy. The Department of Corrections reports Wallace had been in and out of prison since 1998 for a variety of crimes, including assault and eluding police. In 2002, he escaped from Geiger Correctional Facility. Melissa Wallace says all of his bad behavior can be tied to one thing. He had the demons of drug. Wallace completed his last sentence close to three years ago for drug possession. In April, he was arrested again, this time as a part of a group accused of distributing a heroin mixture. And when he was arrested, I thought, thank God, I don't want him in jail, but he would have been alive. But by the end of May, Wallace was released into an inpatient treatment facility, but he walked away. Anybody reading his history knows that he escaped from jail from Geiger that he has a criminal history. Why would you put somebody of high risk into a situation where they could walk out? It's unclear when Wallace left. He did have a court hearing Monday that he never showed up to. The next day was the shooting. Charlie would not have hurt somebody if he hadn't have been high. In the end, he took his own life, leaving his mother trying to understand how it got to this point. But my son is dead because of drugs. And Melissa Wallace told me that she hasn't seen her son in about a month and is now waiting for toxicology reports. She says that she spoke to media today to encourage parents to be conscious and if they think that their children may have a problem, to never give up on them. Live in Spokane, Anusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.